in your basement. Doesn't really matter whether you have glass block windows, sliding windows, up and down windows, or jealousy windows. All windows are encased in a frame. So for tonight's purposes, the black part is the frame, the white part is the window. Now the reason why your window frame, door frames, baseboard pull apart is because the earth is continuously going around, they going to have shifts and settle, and then we're in a region where it is hot and cold, so things expand, it shrinks, expand, shrinks, and usually when that happens, yeah, usually when that happens, um, the void is going to occur, occur with the two different types of materials, okay? So in your basement, what we recommend you use is this material called expanding foam. Right? It's a real good air sealer, but it's not all that attractive. So you don't want to use it in your kitchen or your bedroom or your bathroom, but it is fine for your basement and your garage. And unfortunately, I broke the little straw-like nozzle off, so just make it tend to see a little straw nozzle in there. Um, now, for this particular canister, you want to hold it upright, shake it very vigorously. When you get ready to administer it, start, you apply it, you want to turn it upright. You've got this little trigger thing that you can squeeze and the foam will come out, okay? So in case I don't say this no more throughout my presentation, it doesn't make a difference what type of materials you use it. You always want to make sure that the area you're treating is free and clear of dirt and debris. Stuff sticks back. Okay. The last tip for this, this is worse than chewing gum in your hair when it's wet, so don't touch it. But when it dries, it dries to a styrofoam cup feeling type material, which is a very good air seal. Again, it's not attractive, but it's a good air seal. Okay. So we would have, you know, clean where the frame and the window meet, simply put our little can here, where the little nozzle is, squeeze and slide down. That's all you can do. So even, again, if you put too much, let it dry. When you come back the next day, you know, if you're walking out, you can just take your utility knife and cut the excess off. Okay? Everybody with me on that? All right, good. The next thing in your basement, you know, you got your front wall, your back wall, you got your gas pipes, your water pipes, your electrical wires coming in through the house. Okay, so when they first drilled the hole and slid the pipes through there, the mortar mix, the cement was nice and tight. But again, over time, the earth is continuously going around, things start to shift. So you have your hole for the pipe, and then you have a void around the pipe. So in your basement, again, to clean around your pipes and your wires, you want to take your foam and put it around the pipes. Everybody got that? Again, what we're trying to do is keep that cold there from getting in. Okay? Next thing in your basement, when you go down your basement steps and you get to the floor and you look up, you see some beams, some big blocks of wood. Y'all with me? Okay. We don't need to do the hokey pokey, right? Okay. All right, because I need feedback. Make sure y'all listen to me. All right, so here's the front wall. Here's the rear wall. Those big blocks of wood is called joists, okay? So if this, actually, I'm going to do it this way because that way I can turn my back. This is the front wall and that's the rear wall. And your joists is running this way, okay? What you want to do is clean around your joists. You got a joist here, joist here, joist here, about every 16 inches. You want to take your phone, clean around your joist, go around, take it again. Take your phone, go around the joist, over the cement, around the joist, over the cement. Y'all got that? All right. Now, same scenario, front wall, rear wall, and your joist is running this, yes. Just a question. I use that stuff and all. It does expand. Yes. You, don't, you need to use a whole lot of it. That's one thing. Yeah. A lot of times yeah. you use too much of it. It just keeps coming out. Like That's true. Point all right. So what the gentleman is saying, because it's expanded foam, the way it works, it, it has a, like you have a little opening, it kind of goes in and swells out. Okay? So yeah, you don't need to stand in one spot for three minutes because you're really just wasting material. But again, if you put too much, don't mess with it when it's wet. It's, I'm telling you, it's horrible to get in there. But once it dries, take your utility knife and cut the excess off. But to avoid that, just hit it and quit it. Y'all like that? <laughs>